Scorpio, it's Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. We are going to do your November love read. All right, so this is a timeless read. Whenever you find it, it's for you, Scorpio. Um, but I will be focusing on the energy of right now and November. Okay, but like I said, it is a timeless read. Whenever you find it, it's for you. All right, I've already cleaned the area and the space. I've also saged. I always sage and Palo Santo before I do all of the sign reads for the month. So that has been, I sage my home a lot anyways. Scorpio, like it's just something that I do. I do it at least once a week. Sometimes more if I see little boogaloos going through. <laughs> We have a lot of portals in here, so the boogaloos do be coming in and out. All right, what do we have for Scorpio? Oh, it was just 101 on my camera. Nice. All right, what do we have for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know? So all of the signs are up, up until Scorpio. So Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo. And Libra have all been done. We are on Scorpio now. I'm going to try to get Scorpio and Capricorn out tonight. I'm going to have some client reads. All right. What do we have for the beautiful watery sign of Scorpio? What does our Scorpio need to know about the person on their mind or in their energy fields? Oh, you got two cards that flew out. They literally went whew, way over here. Scorpio. Oh, look at that. You came out. Isn't that funny? So we have Six of Swords and Death and Rebirth. The Six of Swords, I seen it first, so I'm going to take it first. So Scorpio, you're entering into a, um, a cycle of peace, inner peace. Which is crazy because you recently had a huge transition in your love life. A death and a rebirth, right? I mean, I don't know if it was in your love life. I guess it could have been in your life in general. But this is a love read. Whatever it was, it completely transformed you. It's beautiful. Look at that energy. 13 is Scorpio energy, right? And we just got out of Scorpio season. Or we are going to go out of Scorpio season. We might already be in Sagittarius season. I'm not sure yet. We have the moon. But you're entering a place of inner peace right now. So you are content where you're at in your life and in your love life in general. You're just content. The Six of Swords is about inner peace. It's about healing. It's about moving forward, not looking back allowing yourself to go with the flow right Scorpio page of cups so there is something there's something about the moon energy there's a secret or something that has not been revealed to you in regards to your love life we don't know yet what that is right something hidden deep either in your subconscious or it could be something that your person's keeping from you so we'll dive into that deeper if I don't get any clarification with these cards. We got the Page of Cups. So it could be a love offer coming in. For those of you that are single. I feel like we're definitely starting a new cycle. Because the last Scorpio reading that I did for the Scorpios last month. It said that most of you were getting into Twin Flame Union. So I feel like if you're a new Scorpio watching me. this th I'm probably picking up on your energy. Right? Because I feel like I already closed off that last cycle of Twins. I feel like most of you, this is like a new batch of twins coming in. Um, I could be wrong. If you're an old subscriber, then, you know, welcome back. I always welcome you guys back as well. And actually, I think I'm going to start doing just regular tarot reads instead of just focusing on love. Um, if love comes out, then that's cool. But I think mainly I'm going to start doing general reads um, because that way I can reach out to a more vast amount of people and I just don't have time to do love and general so I think that's where my channel is going to be headed so 
I haven't announced it yet officially, but I think that's where we're going. All right, so let's clarify about this moon card. Why do we have the moon card here for Scorpio, please? Can you tell me a little bit about the moon card? Why do we have this moon card here for Scorpio? Why do we have this moon card for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know about this moon card, please? Ooh, the devil. All right, so the devil is about temptation. It's about um, addictions, vices, things that have a tendency to hold us back. In a love reading, it can also mean deep obsession and sexual attraction, right? A very obsessive type love. So take that how it resonates. This could be your person's energy. This could be your energy. When I asked to clarify, you know, what the moon is about, right? We got the devil card. So... Someone could have a very secret, obsessive crush on you, Scorpio. And look, we also got the Page of Cups. Right? It's I like to call it when pigs fly because there's the, the pig that's flying and there's a heart. And the Page of Cups in general means a love offer. Someone is completely freaking head over heels with you, Scorpio. It's a very deep, intense obsessive love they're very sexually attracted to you as well so it's funny because it, the energy feels very scorpionic as well some of you could be literally dealing with another scorpio and we did have the scorpio card come out whenever i see the devil card i always think of scorpio because the devil, if you look at the card, it has the same sort of intense, deep energy, right? Look at that gaze. Look at his eyes. That's the look of a Scorpio. If you've ever dealt with a Scorpio, you know they have the most deep, intense, mysterious eyes. It's like you, you can feel like they're looking into your soul. But at the same time, you can't read them. I love Scorpios. They're so deep and beautiful. I'm a Scorpio rising. So, you know, while I don't have all these tr beautiful traits of the Scorpio, I do have that Scorpionic gaze. A lot of people have commented on my pictures about my eyes and how I have that very intense gaze. That's the Scorpio gaze. You are you might be dealing with another Scorpio. And look, we have six of pentacles. They want to make you a love offer. It's not a shitty one either. Let's keep going. And you know what? The Six of Pentacles card always tells me that this person matches your energy. Okay? Whoever this person is. Three of Wands. Wow. You've been waiting for a connection like this for a long time, Scorpio. Let me tell you. They've been waiting for you, too. They feel like you're the one they've been waiting for. Woo-wee. This energy is fiery. Eight of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. So it's funny because... I see like you're very focused on yourself, Scorpio. You've, you're sort of focused on your job. You're doing your own thing. You had to let go of something that you really wanted. Either that or your person did. One or both of you have let go of a connection recently. And you literally, it was very chaotic. It was like combustible almost, right? If you look at the Eight of Cups, the cup is on fire. I mean, you either you or your person had to literally burn the bitch down and walk away. You were like, enough is enough. You saw the light at the end of the tunnel and you went for it. You were like, I'm done. I'm lighting this bitch up. 
you walked towards the light, you let something burn down, you let it go, you started focusing on yourself, and it brought in a doozy. Okay, we're going to get one more card. What else does Scorpio need to know about this connection? And then we're going to move on to the other decks. What else does Scorpio need to know about this connection, please? With this person on their mind, the person in their energy field. Knight of Swords. So you could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? They want to come in very quickly. Look at that. The bird represents communication. This is very quick communication. They could come across as like very sort of cold. So you might not even have an idea, Scorpio, who this is. I feel like if you know them, they've always been sort of like swords represents the energy of someone kind of nonchalant. They're, they're, they come across as very cold and sort of detached energy, right? Like almost emotionless, like robotic, right? But they have really deep feelings for you and whoever they are, they've just held it. Held it in and hit it very well. Okay? That makes sense to you? Woo, okay. We're going to go on to the Love Oracle. I wanted to do the Romance Angels, but I felt really pulled into this Love Oracle. So we're going to do this one first. What else does Scorpio need to know about this connection that I'm picking up on, please? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages for the beautiful sign of Scorpio. And tomorrow is Thanksgiving in the USA. If you celebrate it, happy Thanksgiving, Scorpio. If not, ain't no thing. I don't eat turkey, so I will not be doing that tomorrow. But I will be cooking for my children. Reconciliation. So if this is someone from your past, they're definitely making their way back to you, Scorpio. They're hooked. Hook, line, and sinker. You done sunk their hearts. They're all over that. Divine timing. Look at that. Right at the right time. At the last second when you think... Fuck it. They're not coming back. Boom. Spirit goes, you thought you didn't know. You thought you knew, but you didn't know. Now you know. What else does Scorpio need to know? Whoa. Ooh. That's where you're just getting juicy, Scorpio. Oh, look at that. We have home. So you're either buying a new home. This person is going to show up at your home. Most likely, when this person comes into your life, it's going to go quickly, right? This person has already thought and laid out their future with you. They've already imagined what it would like to be in your life and to be, you know, either your husband or your wife. And they've already committed to having a life with you and a home with you and a family with you. Maybe not a family, but definitely a home. They've already picked out your curtains, Scorpio. Yuppers. And you know what? Let me see. There was something on the bottom of the deck. Look. Music. Your person could be into music or you could be into music. Take it how it resonates. Now we are going to do the Romance Angels. I'm curious to see what the Romance Angels have to say about this connection. <laughs> I'm going to call your guys as reading that. They've already picked out your curtains, Scorpio. <laughs> They've already picked out those little towels, his and hers. <laughs> they are long gone over Scorpio. It doesn't surprise me, Scorpio. Y'all have that beautiful, magnetic, sexual energy that just draws people in like crazy. Y'all got it. Ooh, we. I love me a Scorpio man. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. I told you. 
You have to trust your internal compass. You have to trust your guides. You have to trust your angels. You have to trust God, Source, Buddha, whatever divine entity, essence that you believe in. Trust it. Most of all, trust yourself. Trust your connection with the divine. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So it would serve you to spend less time with others, more time with yourself. Because when this person comes in, you're going to need all of your energy. You know why, Scorpio. Y'all some sex addicts anyways, so you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you got to save your energy because this person is coming in like a tornado. We have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So that is could have been why your last relationship didn't work out. That's why we had the Eight of Cups. That's why you had to burn the bitch down. Because there just wasn't enough to keep it going. You know, one or... It doesn't work out if one person has more feelings than the other one, right? Or vice versa. If they cared more than you did, right? Okay, one more card for Scorpio. Ooh. True love. Told you. This is the romance of a lifetime. There's a reason this person is obsessed with you. It's because they are your person. Okay? So, the last reading I did for Scorpio, it predicted a divine twin flame union, right? I think it was last month, I'm pretty sure. It was either in September or October. If that didn't happen in the month of September or October, boom, it's happening now. For some of you, it's like the minute that you let go and you're like, screw this, this twin flame journey is too hard, I can't do it, boom, they're right back in your life, right? It's like the minute you disengage and retreat, they're right back up your butt and around the Kona. I'm telling you, for some of you, this is a brand new person. It just depends on depends on your situation. It's going to unfold differently for all of you, right? And, you know, I'm a collective energy love reader, so the story is going to be different for everyone. But there will be parts that resonate for you. Take the parts that fit and discard the ones that don't. When I'm reading for, you know, a million different energies... What else do we have for Scorpio? Not a million, but, you know, at least ten. <laughs> Aries. Some of you, the person is an Aries. You have someone with Aries in their chart in your energy field. Period. Period. Stop. Oh, look at that, though. Your new person that's coming in or the person on your mind. The person that you are obsessing about, Scorpio. Oh, they're so loving and kind. Look at that. They have a beautiful heart. Just like you, Scorpio. What is the last card for Scorpio, please? There is a card here that is upside down. Let me fix that shit. What? Where to go? Alright, what else do we have for Scorpio? Final message. What does Scorpio need to know? What is the most important thing they need to know right now from the spirit deck? From this random spirit deck. Look at that. You got the same card as Leo, seduction. I told you y'all going to be, you know, effing. I said it. I literally said, you need to conserve your energy because when this person comes in, y'all going to be screwing, 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 screwing. It's going to be lots of sex. Tons. 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 Seduction. It's all over. The sexual energy is off the chain. It just made me sweaty. I'm about to put my damn ceiling fan on. <laughs> all right, let's see what else we got. We're going to do a healing card for y'all. Maybe more than one if I feel guided. And then we're going to do an Akashic card for you and your person's Akashic records. 
see where you all are connected in the Akashics. And then we're going to be done. All right, what do we have for Scorpio? What is the next thing Scorpio needs to know about this connection? Please, Spirit. Ooh, victim consciousness, number 12. Okay, so it's number 12. You added it up, it's three. So that shows me, number three is the ascended master number. This shows me that you've mastered this lesson, Scorpio. You're no longer giving in to the victim consciousness mentality. You've moved on from it. Okay? And this is a healing card, right? So healing that in yourself, because you healed that wound, it's drawing in connections which are more balanced, right? Divine connections. Good job. Some of you are also going to have a kundalini awakening. I can see it. You also healed the self-sabotage um, wound. Maybe in the past you used to self-sabotage. Or your, maybe your person did. You know, but you healed that. The owl shows me, you know, you were self-aware enough to heal these energies amazing and because you're doing that or i feel like you could be in the process of doing that that's what that's what is bringing in this divine connection okay now if this is if this relates to your person then i would just allow them space because if they have a habit of self-sabotaging Every single time they get close to you, you're just going to have to, you cannot fix that. They have to fix it for themselves. If they're in these two energies, they, they don't have a choice. But it feels like either one or both of you are learning to balance these energies out, right? You're becoming aware of it. There's the number two and the number two, which shows me that you're working on it. You might not have completely healed it. But you're working on it. And on the bottom of the deck, we have courage and healing. See, I told you, a number three again and number two again. You can't make it up, Scorpio. Look at that. This is number three. 21 added up as three. There's three again. Wow, look at that. Your healing journey has been incredible, Scorpio. Oh, my God. I just got spiritual chills. Great job. Great job. It is not easy to face your shadows, but look, you did. You faced them, you shined the light on them, and boom, you healed those patterns. Oh my God, incredible. What a beautiful, beautiful way to start to end this read. All right, we're going to do one card for you guys as a kasha, and then we're moving on. That, that's incredible. I, think, I love it. I love it. I love it when, when you know... The cards confirm the energy I'm picking up. What an incredible healing journey, Scorpio. I am so proud of you. Your guides are too. That's why I do this. To be able to hear, heal yourself significantly enough to have a loving, healthy relationship is the whole reason we're all here, right? This is why I do what I do for you guys. What is the final message for Scorpio? and their person. What is the final Akashic card we need to open for them to unlock? Look at that, Scorpio. Release and let go, and you got number three again. Because you are not attached to the outcome, because you surrendered the outcome to a higher power, because you said, I am going to go with the flow, no matter what happens, I'm going to trust my journey i'm going to trust myself i'm going to trust the higher power and the divine source of love and you went through this huge soul transformation the butterfly represents the soul you're no longer the chrysalis you're no longer the caterpillar hell you are the butterfly 
you have transformed your love life oh my gosh that seems like a beautiful place to end this reading if something resonated feel free to comment i love to read your guys's comments i love to you know have verification that what i am doing matters um, please like and subscribe. It is absolutely free. Share with all your beautiful Scorpio friends so they can join the Chakra Bunny family as well. And if you want to book a reading with me, click on the description box below my videos. All my prices are there. I freaking love you guys so much. Bye, Scorpio. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving again.